In this video, our instructor will show you how to use basic ping tracer NSLOOKUP and some basic commands because we use this on daily basis. At the end of this video, I will also show you if you are a plus and premium members, you can use our 5000 plus videos and find some of the basic commands in that feature as well. Hello and welcome viewers networking commands through CMD. And in this video, I'm going to show you these important and basic commands, ping, tracer, and its lookup, and there are other commands. And the most important thing about those commands is those commands are really helpful for any basic IT support person, any tier one, level one network support person, because these commands are really helpful to fix minor and sometimes major issues, or even you can assess the network issues that are going on running with the machine. So on the level one, on the basic troubleshooting, you should provide after getting the query is those commands and definitely it will help you somehow in hacking too. So after learning these commands, you can easily troubleshoot system related issues and you can easily assess, analyze the issues, the network issues mainly happens with the system. So if you get the screen of any machine that is having those network issues so you have some tools in the form of these commands to analyze and assess what is wrong with that machine so let's start with the windows 10 cmd now here let me run the cmd you know what as the administrative privilege and then we will use the first command host name in this video and what this command does, it actually tells you about the machine name of your desktop. So let's say if I type host name, just host name without nothing. So it will tell me the machine name of this desktop. Or if you're working in a company, an organization, so it will directly tell you the name of that workstation. So the first command is host name and it is simple. And in a quick way, you easily get the name of your machine. And after that, the most common command that is used by most network support, network professionals, and this command is directly related to the network side because it's gonna tell you about the IP address, about the other MAC address, physical address, and the number of adapter that are attached to your machine at the moment. So if I press enter, so you can see that it is telling me the IP address, the subnet, and the default gateway. But you will definitely ask where were the pre other thing that you mentioned before that about the physical address and about the other adapters. So to get all, all the details related to your network, you need to add this keyword IP config space forward slash all. So it's going to tell you about your card name, your adapter, your adapter name, your physical address, your default gateway, whether you have such protocols like the DHCP server, which is working or not, your DNS settings, everything related to your network configuration, you can easily find and collect by using this same command. After that, if you wanna separately check your MAC address, but here you can still find your MAC address with the heading physical address against the physical address, this is your MAC address. But let's say for example, if you have multiple adopters, multiple network devices attached to your machine, and you wanna check your MAC address directly, so there's a simple command you could use, is get MAC and press enter. So it's gonna tell you your MAC address directly, and here you can see that the physical address which is presented here and it is also there. So in this way, you can easily find out your MAC address and then the simple and the most common command people use and the basic definition of that command is to check the connectivity with the destination and destination might be any location, any information technology related location like any system, any, any domain, any server. So the command is ping and let's say if I want to check my connectivity to the internet, so I could type an address that is definitely on the internet, it is not on the local. So if I type ping space google.com or any web address, so if I'm getting reply from that destination, that 
definitely tells me that I'm totally connected with that destination or with the servers. And for example, if you ha are having issues with the internet and you're working in any environment and you know that there are so many local nodes you have, local connectivity, so you can also type ping in that specific IP so it will better tell you about your local connection. Let me try because this is my personal PC. I don't have any node. But let me try one address. Right. So this is the default gateway of my network. So in this way, you can type any IP on the local network and check your connectivity to that destination. And this is the basic and what what could you what could me what could I say about that command? This is a very basic and the first tab related to troubleshooting because this command enables you to troubleshoot the system issues, the, the network issues with the system, with the specific machine. So let's say, for example, you're getting connectivity somehow and losing in a second. So the connectivity coming in and out, there's no steady connection and you're f feeling that your network is somehow connected and disconnected and you want to judge and during that you are fixing the cabling issue or you are fixing your cable connector and you are getting connectivity somehow and then losing so for that thing you can add ping that specific destination and you could add space dash t so this ping will become unlimited unless you stop that ping command so it will start sending packet to the destination and taking reply and whenever you fix something you will get the reply and whenever there is a disconnectivity it will not get reply from that destination so if you run this command on the screen and then start troubleshooting so you could easily figure out on which point and on on which fix you're getting connectivity and on which fix you're you get you you get disconnected so this command really helps you to troubleshoot network issues then we have another command and this is also used to troubleshoot network but there are other uses of this command too. trace it in this trace it command if we go for the basic definition this commands tell the whole route that is the whole route you could say that took to reach to the destination let's say our destination is google.com and if i press enter so it will start recording and providing us the detail of every hop every path it every path that packet takes to reach to the destination so let's say here you can see on the first hop it is 1681.1 this is my default gateway that means first my packet leave from my machine to the default gateway then it routed to that 100.77 something address then it routed to 192 and this might be the whole metropolitan area devices kind of stuff and then it leave and it destined for the city based network and then the country wide networking then it leave that country to reach to destiny to destine for the specific google web server so it tell us each and every hop that is in between from the source the one who is executing this command and the destination the web address you are typing here and it is also helpful for troubleshooting your local network issues let's say your machine is getting connectivity but it is unable to reach to other local machines in the network so you can easily type and right now I'm not connecting to any local network this is a simple home based network but if I type trace it with my default gateway so probably it will provide the output that because the first hop is itself my net default gateway that's why we're not getting a proper hop count but at least you just get the concept after this google tracer so the trace it command enables and allow you to find out the hop between source and destination that's the best use and the understanding of this command then we have the netstat and as for the name suggests network statistics stats means for statistics and if you execute this command so it will tell you the connection that is going on 
within the network and the statistics of those connections, whether the pod and which protocol is currently up and right now your machines are connected to which other networks and which ports are specifically on right now during this moment. So it will tell you about all the active connection on all the active ports from all the destination networks and all the destination protocols. So this command is more advanced but at for this level this is okay to understand and get to know. Then the last command of this video is nslookup and this command is really helpful to get the IP address of any DNS or any web server. Let's say I want to know the IP address of google.com and I type nslookup so there you go the name google.com and the address is 216.58.207.100 this is the IP address of www.google.com so how it is helping in a professional in a corporate sector let's say you have a DNS name you have a FQDN and you wanna know the name right now I don't have any FQDN because it's a home based machine but let's say for example you have a FQDN like plibdc01.practice labs.com and you only knew that FQDN the fully qualified domain name but you don't have its IP address so if you wanna find out the IP address of that domain name so you can use this NS lookup space and that whole FQDN and it will translate and it will provide you the IP address of this domain name so that's the best use of NS lookup in the corporate in the local networking sector but as for the homes if you want to check the IP address of any web server so you can type NS lookup and then the specific web address so these are the all commands we want to show in this video and these all commands are really helpful for tier one support on the level one understanding and it is really related to IT help desk and desktop support and the network support because this command actually helps you to solve most sometimes major network issues and sometimes you can even assess and analyze the what sort of issues are going on with that machine or with that network so in the end this is it is our humble request to subscribe our channel press the bell icon and start this playlist and get subscribed so you won't miss any other new video that we are posting related to the cmd and if you have any question if you encounter any error so do mention in the comment box we will reply you so in the last all these commands we used during this video so if you want to know those commands and want to just make some copy somewhere so you can copy from the screen if you are a plus or premium member you have a great feature available to you on your dashboard on the right side click on find lab video and here you can see when an instructor upload video in any course and when they create a practice lab videos because we have so many labs they make videos on daily basis as you can see some of the videos from the same course is getting uploaded in the same area but then you will see all other different type of videos that are getting added to our platform. It's an easy way for you to come over here and now find more about IP config. So let's just find one example of IP config. So you will type IP config and you will basically enter and then you will see the results for IP config. So now you can see that in our platform we have covered videos on CompTIA A plus fundamental a plus 2.21002 so as you can see use the IP config tool IP config command using IP config so even in 220s old courses are there too and then you will see network fundamental we use that and CompTIA network plus we use that and you can find more if there is more available so but this just gives you an idea that even we have different courses but IP config IP config is being used all over so this is the best way to actually come over here and find these commands, whichever command you want to learn more about, and then you can see which lab it is associated with. So if you're a Plus member, you have the ability and you have unlimited access to these videos, and if you're a Premium member, it's the same thing. You simply click on the Watch Video, and now you can see exactly what we, we uh, this instructor did in the lab.
But if you're a premium member and you want to follow this uh, uh, lab with the instructor, you know which mo module it is in 220.102, exercise 1, task 2, IP config. You simply go to your lab, open your lab, and then basically go to module 2, you know exercise 2. And then this is how you can actually perform this. Um, but that's just an example of one command. We have covered so many different commands, and I'm sure you will find it uh, in this section. So let's do one NSLOOKUP command, and now let's look for NSLOOKUP and wait for a second. And there you go. We have this in the same course, and then we have NSLOOKUP in uh, Windows Server 2016 because when you talk about DNS kind of stuff, then, of course, NSLOOKUP will be related to more Windows servers, CompTIA type fundamental again, and you see so many different courses we are using uh, NSLOOKUP um, in these type of courses. So just one command, and you can find so many different variation of how to use that command uh, because of this feature that we have made it available for our plus and premium members. Thank you. We will be sharing more tips in different videos. If we feel like it is going to help our plus and premium members, we will add tips at the end of each CMG.